Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at two worked examples showing you how to do problems involving electric fields and electric fuel patterns. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says to sketch the electric fuel pattern for two negative point charges. Well, this should look something like this. So there's my two negative charges labeled negative Q, and you'll see that we've got this pattern in the middle where there are no electric field lines. They've canceled each other out. However, the ones that are drawn in the middle there show that the lines want to get away from each other, because remember, two negative charges need each other, will want to repel each other. Notice how we've got these lines going in around the charges on both sides, and they start curving more and more as they get towards the center. Lastly, you should also note the direction of the arrows going in towards the negative charges, because remember the field lines are drawn in the direction that a positive charge would move in if placed in that field. Question 2 says to explain how a Faraday cage uses electrostatic shielding to protect anything inside it. Well, firstly, a Faraday cage is made from a conductive material so that the electric field inside it is zero. Any charge applied to the cage, for example due to lightning, will reside on the surface of the cage since it acts like a conductor. As long as you don't touch the cage from the inside, you will be safe. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.